Is Allen Iverson a better basketball player compared to Stephen Curry? Whether as a team player or individually. In this video, we will be breaking this matchup down. These are one of the best guards that has ever lived. At the end of this video, I will give you my conclusion on who's the best and why. When you finish watching this video, don't forget to share your opinion and comment down below whether you agree or disagree. Let's make this a conversation. And guys, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Now, let's get to it. Let's start with the answer himself. Allen Iverson in the early 2000s was unstoppable. At barely six foot tall, AI averaged 30 points per game. Some say he wasn't even six foot tall and he was still able to run the league for years at his height. He even pushed the great Kobe Bryant to his limit in many occasions. Kobe even mentioned, we are fortunate that Allen Iverson is not six foot five. Now, imagine a world with AI being six foot five in his prime. He may would have been in a conversation of the greatest of all time. Individually, AI was great. Allen Iverson was an 11 time all-star and won the league MVP in 2001, in the same year where he lost to the LA Lakers in the NBA Finals. That finals appearance was his only one throughout his whole career. As great as Allen Iverson is, unfortunately, he never won an NBA championship. Iverson's style of play might have hindered his career from winning a championship. When AI was in Philadelphia, he was the main focus offensively. When you don't have a complete team behind you and you're the main focus of the opposite team defensively, fatigue will catch up to you during the playoffs, especially late in the series. The LA Lakers was able to beat Philadelphia in just five games in the NBA Finals in 2001. Allen Iverson never went back to the NBA Finals after that year. Iverson went on and got traded to the Denver Nuggets where he played for three years, but never got past the first round during his time in Denver. After his career was done, Iverson still went on and became a first ballot Hall of Famer after his career was done. Iverson definitely had a big impact in the NBA's culture. We still see his influence in today's game, whether that's from the crossover or the player's swag on and off the court. Guys, before we get to Stephen Curry, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers before the summer. And now, let's get to the chef. Stephen Curry's story is quite inspiring as he wasn't highly recruited out of high school. Curry was only a three-star recruit. Island Iverson, on the other hand, was highly recruited out of high school, ending up playing for a major college in Georgetown. Curry ended up playing for a mid-major D1 school in Davidson, where they became a Cinderella story during March Madness in 2008. After college, Stephen Curry went on and got drafted 7th overall in the 2009 NBA Draft. Curry struggled early in his NBA career, unlike AI who made an impact right away in becoming Rookie of the Year. Curry also dealt with a lot of injuries, especially on his ankles. With the Golden State Warriors losing a lot of games in his first two years, the Warriors and Stephen Curry was able to get a lottery pick in Klay Thompson. As great as Stephen Curry is, Klay Thompson has made a great contribution to Curry's success and vice versa. With that pick, the Splash Brothers were made. Curry went on and slowly took over the league as the years went on. Currently, Curry is a four-time NBA champion, a finals MVP, two-time season MVP, and a 10-time All-Star, just to name a few of his accolades. Stephen Curry's influence in today's game is very visible, not just in the NBA, but around the world. Everybody and their mama out here are shooting threes, three to four feet behind the arc. Without a doubt, Stephen Curry will become a first ballot Hall of Famer. As the best shooter of all time in the NBA, Curry also holds the most three-point made in the NBA passing Reggie Miller. After breaking down both Stephen Curry and Allen Iverson's careers by accolades, there's no doubt that Stephen Curry has a way better resume compared to Allen Iverson. With that being said, let's take a different angle to measure on who really is the better player by switching their roles. If Curry played for the Philadelphia 76ers and Allen Iverson played for the Golden State Warriors, who would make a better impact to their respective teams? My answer to that is Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry's game can be applicable in a system at the end of the day. 
Basketball is a team game, and the more you can utilize the whole team, the higher your chances are to win at a higher level. With Allen Iverson's game, it's very entertaining to watch, and he's great at what he does. But at the end of the day, that style of play won't get it done when it comes to winning championships. ISO basketball will always affect the team long term, as majority of your players will get out of rhythm by watching their number one player go to work for them. Another scenario where we can switch the roles is if Stephen Curry played in Denver with Carmelo Anthony. Now, imagine a team with prime Carmelo Anthony and Stephen Curry on it. They could have been easily a championship contender for all those three years that Allen Iverson was in Denver. When AI got traded to Detroit and the Denver Nuggets received Chauncey Billups, Denver was able to make it to the Western Conference Finals after Allen Iverson's departure. As tough as it is for me to mention these things about Allen Iverson's game, I am also a huge fan of Allen Iverson. And it's just unfortunate that he wasn't able to win at least one NBA championship. If you made it at the end of this video, I would like to say thank you for watching the whole thing. And again, comment down below and share your opinion. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next video. Adios.